Hello everybody, welcome once again to another interesting video on verbal ability from Career Ride. The topic that we are going to discuss today is fixed prepositions. And this topic is again very very important for your placement test and your entrance exams also. Now, these days in the exams, they don't just try to find your understanding about the regular prepositions. They also try to find out if you are aware of these fixed prepositions, the correct usage of these fixed prepositions. Okay. So, this is a very, very important topic that you must not skip when you're preparing for your placement test and entrance exams also. Okay. So, let's begin. The first sentence here says, the new teacher suggested some changes dash the principal. Now, the first thing that I always tell you is always read the sentence and try to understand its meaning. The meaning of the sentence is really important, right? Because the usage of prepositions changes with it. Okay. And understanding these fixed prepositions is going to help you in another way also. Because when you identify the right prepositions, you will be able to fill the right words before them. So they are going to be useful to you in closed test also. Okay, so there are two things that you are trying to do here. First, you are trying to understand the meaning of the sentence. And the second thing that you are trying to do is you are trying to set your concepts right to take up the questions on closed test also. Okay, so pay attention. The first sentence as it says here, the new teacher suggested some changes dash the principle. The prepositions given to you are in, to, for, about. Okay, now in can this uh, be filled up in this blank? The new teacher suggested some changes in the principle. Okay. There is something wrong with the principle and they want to suggest some changes in the principle himself or herself. Okay. So, no. This cannot be the right answer. The new teacher suggested some changes for the principle. No. About the principle. No. They were uh, The new teacher came to the school and they observed certain things and they wanted to suggest some changes. So, to the principle. Right. Because whatever they are suggesting, this is the teacher and they are suggesting something to the principal. So, whatever they are suggesting is going from here to here. Right? So, to the principal. Okay? Similarly, the usage of these words also. Write to. Pay attention. Listen to. Propose to. Reply to. Because when I am writing something, right? So, what is happening again? Thing is going from here to here. Whatever I am writing here is going to somebody here. Okay. So, writing to the principal. Listen to the principal. Propose to the principal. Reply to the principal is what you would say. Okay. Pay attention. This is really important. The second sentence is, I signed dash blue ink dash my favorite pen. Can you try this for yourself? Try filling up these blanks. I signed dash blue ink dash my favorite pen. The options given to you are with, with, by, with, in, with and with, by. Now, uh, see what is happening here. This is a pen that I am writing with, for example, okay. And it is filled with some blue ink here, okay. So, what is happening? When I am writing, this ink is flowing through the pen, okay. So, this pen is actually working as the tool or the instrument, okay. Pen is what? Pen is a tool or the instrument here that I am using. Okay, so I am signing in blue ink because this ink is flowing from inside the pen. Okay, so this ink is flowing down and I am signing in blue ink with my favorite pen. Why? Because this pen is right now working as a tool. Okay, so whenever you have this sign, then you use the preposition in blue ink, right in blue ink, sign in blue ink. Okay, this is very, very important. Many a times it is asked in the exams. Pay attention. The third sentence here says, he has decided to dispose dash all his ancestral property. He has got some property, ancestral property, and he is not interested in, his, uh, in it right now. So, he wants to just uh, get rid of it. He wants to sell it off or he wants to, you know, whatever he may want to do with it, but he doesn't want it right now. Want it now. Okay. So, what does he do? He has decided to dispose of the property. Okay. Now, which of? Double F or single F? There is a sense of separation. So, many of you might feel that it should be double off. Double F, right? 
so but this is not the right one with dispose you use the of with a single f so he has decided to dispose of all his ancestral property i would highly recommend that you take a notepad with you and take these notes somewhere okay because this is something that you will have to apply as it is in the exams you will have to use these things as it is and there is nothing that you can do uh, other than this about it okay so take notes somewhere so that your concepts are clear try to read as much as possible and also whenever you are reading pay attention to the usage of these whenever you are reading pay attention how these uh, uh, words have been used okay whenever you see those uh, subtitles in the movies also pay attention whenever you are reading the newspaper you are whenever you are reading any article pay attention how these prepositions have been used okay now let's move on to the next set. okay so the fourth sentence here says searching dash your key in this jungle is a difficult task so i've got a small key and i have lost it in the jungle and now i'm trying to find it out okay so searching dash your key in this jungle is a difficult task that is what the sentence is trying to say now the prepositions given to you are for this is five this means null okay whenever in my lectures you see this symbol understand that it means nothing null okay in about so searching dash your key in this jungle is a difficult task you are actually looking for something okay you have lost something and you are looking for it so search for okay whenever you are using the word search in the sense of finding out trying to find out something that you have lost then you would say search for searching for your key in this jungle is a difficult task but see this sentence now search the user manual for the solution now i'm not saying search for the user manual no i'm not searching for the user manual actually i am searching for the solution so i have not written search for the user manual no search for the solution where in the user manual that you have got so this is the user manual and there is some solution inside it to my problem okay so i am searching for the solution inside this user manual so search the user manual for the solution i hope you understand this if it is a problem you can pause the video here and take a good look at these two sentences sentence number 5 i am new to the city can you help me find a house to live what should you fill here in this blank should it be null do you not need any preposition here or should it be in under what should it be see i am new to the house can you help me find a house to live in is what you say because this is a house and you live inside it right so live in is what you say right similarly see this sentence all i need right now is a bed to lie in okay why lie in many a times you might be confused that why why are we not using on here okay on is also correct we, but these are two different things okay whenever you have got a bed and you are just you just go and lie on the bed then it is on the bed okay but if you have got a bed and there is a say uh, a blanket or a cover also and you are under the sheets then you say in okay this is the difference all i need right now is a bed to lie in there is a possibility of getting this kind of a sentence also in the exam so pay attention okay now the sixth one you can apply dash the job by sending an email to the office you can apply dash the job by sending an email to the office now what's happening here maybe some vacancy has been advertised and you are trying to send your application and you are interested in in this job okay so the prepositions given to you are for to or should it be nothing null five so you are this is the job that has been advertised okay and you are trying to send in an application to apply for the job is what you would say okay you can apply for the job by sending an email to the office pay attention you are sending an uh, application right now to apply for the job but if you are sending an application to the office you can you see the sentence you can apply to the office because here the stress is on the office you are applying to the office with all your documents okay but when you are sending your application in and applying for the job is what you would say sentence number 
beware dash a silent dog and still water the prepositions given to you are five with of about now the sentence is trying to uh, tell you that there is a silent dog and if you are in still water you should be careful of all both of these things okay even if the dog is sitting silently you have to be careful okay so beware of is what you say beware of a silent dog and still water but at times you also use this word like this beware and you just use a exclamation sign here beware there is a cobra there something of that might say you may say okay beware but in this kind of a sentence beware of a silent dog and still water is how you write it to be okay the next sentence says his enthusiasm compensates dash his lack of skill so he lacks something but he has got something more in him which compensates for that loss okay so whenever you are using the word compensate in the sense of loss comp you uh, that you are lacking something right you compensate for it this is the right preposition to use here okay sentence number 9 i knocked dash the door and the boss himself opened it i knocked the door what is it that you would fill up in this blank and do you think it should there, there should be a preposition at all or should it be five it should actually be knocked at the door right you always knock at the door and somebody opens it for you okay make sure that you have paid good amount of attention to it because this is also asked many a times in the closed test the next one is adityapur a suburb in jamshedpur is named dash raja aditya pratap singh so there was a raja there and his name was aditya pratap singh and this particular suburb adityapur takes its name after is what you would write named after you would see that many a times many places are also named after many uh, great people right or some raja or some you know people from the history so named after this road is named after okay similarly this place is named after it takes its name from that particular person or that particular incidence okay so the right preposition to use here is after let's see sentence number 11 everybody complimented the sisters dash their success in upsc exam so the sisters have actually cleared the upsc exam and the people have come to congratulate them okay this is what the sentence is actually trying to tell you so everybody complimented the sisters on their success in upsc exam similarly if you are given with the words like congratulate felicitate in that case also you would say congratulate the sisters on their success felicitate the sisters on their success in up is uh, upsc exams okay this is the right usage of the word with this word okay this is the uh, sorry this is the right usage of this preposition with compliment congratulate or felicitate okay moving on to the next sentence the medical aid provided by the state is not adequ adequate dash the needs of the victims okay the prepositions given to you are to for with up to okay so what has happened here let's read the sentence again the medical aid provided by the state some mishap has happened and the state has provided some medical aid there are a lot of victims it seems there okay so they have sent some medical aid but what is happening in this sentence is the medical aid that the state has provided is not sufficient to the needs of these victims okay so it is not adequate to meet their needs this was the sentence is trying to tell you it is not sufficient to meet their needs so adequate to the needs now the sentence number 13 here reads opposition dash the new trade policy has been registered from all the sectors okay so there is some new trade policy in place that they they are trying to get okay and the uh, people in various sectors they are not very pro that policy they do not like that policy so there is an opposition now you have to fill up this 
blank. The pre uh, prepositions given to you are to, on, against, towards. Now, many of you might feel that it should be against. Opposition against the new trade policy, but this is wrong. Why is it wrong? Because this word against is inherent, inherent in opposition. Okay, you cannot have it twice. Some of you might feel that it should be towards. There is an opposition and opposition towards. No, you do not oppose towards something. You oppose to something. Okay, so this opposition to the new trade policy has been registered from all the sectors. Okay, I hope you have understood it. Moving on to the next one. With the fall in temperature, winters have set dash in, on, out, off. This is again asked to you many a times in the exams. Okay. Now, with the fall in temperature, winters have set, they have started and they are here to stay for some time. Okay. So, the winters have set in is what you would say. Now, see, I told you in the beginning that these prepositions, fixed prepositions will help you in identifying the right words in case of the uh, closed test also. How? Now, suppose this kind of a sentence is given to you with the fall in temperature, the winters have and you have a blank here. They have not given you suppose say, they don't give you set and they just give you in. So, now you know that the, the meaning of the sentence is trying to come out to be that the winters have started and they are here to stay for some time. So, you will be able to choose this word set in very easily, right? If you are aware that the meaning of this word set in is they have started and they are here to stay for some time, right? So, that is how these prepositions help you in solving your closed test also many a times. So, it is very, very important that you get your concepts right. The next sentence says, parting dash friends was the most difficult part of my life at college. And this happens with all of us. We all, all of us go to the college and then we make good friends. And then when we part, it is not a very good feeling. We don't like it. So, what do you do there? You part from friends. Okay. So, whenever it, uh, this partition, whenever this parting is used in the sense of people, okay, parting from uh, friends, parting from parents, parting from siblings, whenever it is used in terms of people, we use part from. So, this is the right preposition to use here. Okay. But see this sentence. The miser Sahukar could not part with his wealth. But whenever you are talking in terms of your wealth or assets or any other physical possession, then you say could not part with his wealth. This Sahukar, this is a Hindi word and uh, this is like your local Kirana uh, person. Okay, this, that kind of a person it is. So, the miser Sahukar could not part with his wealth, right, is how you would use this word. Okay, pay attention. These are two different usages and they are very, very important. Sentence number 16. Feeling sick dash heart is one of the early symptoms of depression. Okay, now, so uh, basically the sentence is trying to tell you that this is not a very good feeling at your heart. Okay, so feeling sick at heart. It's not sick by heart or sick in heart. No, you it is feeling sick at heart. You are not feeling good at heart. Okay. Is how you say it to be. Okay. Now the next sentence says, I promised my brother to stand. First of all, pay attention here. Stand by is what you say. Okay. I promised my brother to stand by him dash thick and thin. So now you use through with thick and thin, which means, okay, which means I promised my brother to stand by him, I will be with him through thick and thin. Whatever uh, problems he might come across, I am always with him. That is basically the sentence is trying to tell you. Okay. So, I promised my brother stand by is uh, what you would say to stand by him through thick and thin. Okay. Sentence number 18. You are entitled dash all the good things being said about you. So, you have done something really good and there are some good things being said about you and you are entitled to all of them. Okay. Entitled to. It is not entitled about. It is not about. Uh, it is not entitled in. No. It is entitled 
to you deserve all these good things that are being said about you is what the sentence is trying to tell you sentence number 19 adhering dash the principles even during tough times separates the strong we have seen in the uh, video on articles the strong means the strong people here the whole group of strong people all the strong people is what it means from the weak pay attention the weak it doesn't mean just one weak person it means the whole community of those type of people who are not very strong okay so adhering to the principles you adhere to the principles okay you do not adhere on the principles you do not adhere for the principles you adhere to the principles most of you i'm sure would not write adhere against but uh, you might get confused be, uh, between on and for but the right usage is to okay adhering to the principles sticking to the principles even when you are facing tough times is what separates you from the weak people is what the sentence is trying to convey to you now see this 20th sentence my parents say excess of anything is injurious dash health for to with or in many of you might think for but for is not the right word to be used with injurious it is to it is injurious to health okay you are consuming something or you are doing something in excess and it is not good for your health so it is injurious to your health you might have read the caption many a times alcohol is injurious to health smoking is injurious to health right basically they are trying to tell you that it is harmful to your health it is detrimental to your health it is hurtful it is dangerous to your health it is damaging to your health that is basically what they are trying to tell you so whenever these words are used in this sense that this is not good for you it is injurious to damaging to dangerous to okay something of that kind so the thing is try to understand the meaning of the sentence okay and with word injurious you use injurious to health okay now sentence number 21 the wind will die dash by evening now the options given to you are out down five which means null or in now read the sentence again the wind will die dash by evening so basically the sentence is trying to tell you that it is very windy right now but by evening things will become better because the wind will die down it will gradually become slower okay and by the evening it will finish out okay thus that is what the sentence is trying to tell you so the wind will die down is what you would use here you would not say it will die out because die out would mean that something slowly stops existing see this next sentence that i have gotten for you here see this dinosaurs died out millions of years ago so basically this sentence is trying to tell you that they slowly stopped existing so whenever you want to say that something has stopped existing you would say died out but when something will gradually it will get over you mean to say die down sentence number 22 this is again very interesting mesmerized dash her beauty and enchanted dash her voice the prince kept looking at her now there was a prince and uh, he was uh, probably somewhere and there was a beautiful young girl there and the prince was actually mesmerized by her beauty is what you would say she took away all his attention he was almost hypnotized by her is what the sentence is trying to tell you that is what the word mesmerized mean okay mesmerized by her beauty is what you would say and enchanted by her voice charmed is what this word means so charmed by her voice both these uh, blanks will get this word preposition by in them okay so mesmerized by her beauty and enchanted by her voice is the what you would write here okay now let's see the sentence number 23 my friend has finally got a divorce dash her husband with her husband of her husband or from her husband of you would definitely not right i'm sure my friend has finally got a divorce there is a sense of separation so many of you might think that it would be of double f but 
that is not the right usage with this word divorce with the husband no because they are not together anymore they are separated now so divorce from the husband right you remember parting from your friends parting from your parents so divorce from the husband right my friend has finally got a divorce from her husband is what the right usage of this word is here okay now sentence number 24 the bull is bound dash a rope now would it be there is a bull okay let me draw a bull for you here this is my bull okay <laughs> and it is bound using a rope this is my rope so what is this rope doing here it is working as a tool right it is working as an instrument it is working as a tool for me okay so the bull is bound with a rope it is bound with a rope using a rope is what the sentence is trying to tell you remember we did sign in ink with a pen because my pen was working as a tool for me right so the bull is bound with a rope sentence number 25 the commander abandoned the fort dash the enemy this word abandoned it takes two with it right so abandoned the fort to the enemy he did not do it for the enemy he did not do it with the enemy right he did it abandoned the fort to the enemy is what you would say sentence number 26 my hibiscus plant is infested dash white mealy bugs so there are some bugs white mealy bugs and they are all over my hibiscus plant is what i want to say here so it is infested with right it is infested with what you would say here that's basically it is pestered with plagued with contaminated with crowded with infected with so the uh, preposition with goes with these words also Okay and now coming to the final set of sentences for this video sentence number 27 she was acquitted dash cheating her company and causing them financial losses so see what the sentence what is the sentence is trying to convey to you what is the meaning of this sentence first of all so there was some employee employee and she was she was charged with uh, cheating her company and then it was also charged that she caused financial losses to them so but now what has happened is she has been released from all those charges all those charges have been taken back she has been found not to be guilty now so she has been acquitted of is what you would say okay basically you would see that we say she was accused of cheating right is the right usage of this word accused of right she had some charges on her and she was accused of cheating her company but now she has been acquitted of doing this is how you can remember it okay the right usage of the word is acquitted of cheating her company okay sentence number 28 it is important to instill some spiritual wisdom dash our children now this word instill you can use in also you can use into also here okay because what is happening in this sentence is probably let us say these are your parents and this is you and they are trying to slowly slowly they are trying to uh, impart some spiritual wisdom to you so the wisdom is coming from here into you so you slowly try to instill some spiritual wisdom into your children you are trying to pass it on you are trying to impart this wisdom to your children okay so into instill into is what you can write here 29 his talk was irrelevant dash the topic and made little sense whatever he was talking did not make sense and it was not in line with the topic so irrelevant to the topic it is not relevant to the topic is what the sentence is trying to tell you so with the word irrelevant you use to when something is not in line with the with something you say it is irrelevant to that it is irrelevant to me right i am not interested because it is irrelevant to me is what you would say sentence number 30 god has endowed him dash a beautiful voice i almost gave you the answer okay so what you would say endowed with is the combination okay god has endowed him with 
a beautiful voice means blessed him with a beautiful voice okay so see these uh, fixed prepositions as i have been telling you these are extremely extremely important from the point of view of your placement test and entrance exams also because there can be direct questions fill in the blanks kind of questions then you can have those sentence improvement kind of questions spot the error kind of questions are possible from here and the biggest thing is those closed test questions are also possible from the right usage of prepositions if you are aware of these right usages of prepositions your closed test will become very easy for you okay so but see this is just a set of 30 sentences 30 words that i have gotten for you here this is a long list and what i'll do is we'll need to do some more videos so i think we will have a total of four or five videos i'm not sure at the moment but probably four videos but make sure that you see all of these four videos on fixed prepositions okay i'll get them one by one to you but make sure that you have seen all these videos and after seeing these videos make sure that whenever you are reading you pay attention to the usage of these words okay that is how, the trick to actually cement them in your memory there is no other way okay so with this i really hope that whatever we have learnt in today's video is going to be useful to you and it will help you in cracking your placement test and entrance exams also and if you found today's video useful do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and uh, to stay updated with more videos on verbal ability make sure that you are subscribed to the channel okay and i'll see you very soon with a new video till then bye bye and take care